lots to report back to you on in this week's vlog. As you know, much of the yacht building industry throughout the world has had to kind of hit the pause button for a little while due to this awful coronavirus pandemic. It's especially hit the Italian yacht building industry. In Italy, yacht building is a huge industry and they've all had to just kind of hold back from building for a little while. But now in Italy, as the numbers seem to be improving and the pandemic appears to be getting more under control, I get the feeling that the yacht building industry is kind of on the starting grid, waiting for the green light so that they can get going again. In the meantime, I've been in contact with almost all of the major builders, but especially those with whom I have a special relationship due to this YouTube channel. So in this rather unusual and very special weekly vlog, I'm looking forward to telling you what's going on with each one of those builders, starting with Custom Line. Now, Custom Line, as you probably know, is a part of Ferretti Group. It's a huge group of prestigious yacht builders, including, of course, Ferretti themselves, uh, CRN, Custom Line, Riva, Pershing. They have some great brand names in there. And I was especially excited because I had the possibility to start to do bi-monthly news reports from the Custom Line shipyard back to you. And before the virus started, I just filmed the first one, which was called Custom Line Confidential. If you haven't seen it, it's a wonderful video where I actually go into their shipyard and take a look especially at their newest model, which is the Custom Line Navetta 30. It's a totally brand new design, including a new hull design with a wave piercing bow. Um, just so that you understand, Custom Line basically have two lines of yachts. They have the Navetta line, which is a little bit more voluminous and long range. And then they have the planing line. For those of you that don't know, when you see a yacht uh, that goes under speed and the bow starts to lift, ideally what should happen is the bow lifts and then pretty much the whole hull starts to lift a little bit above the water. Um, that's called a planing yacht. That position where the yacht is kind of lifted a little bit higher in the water is called planing. Uh, Custom Line actually produce a 120 foot planing yacht called the Custom Line 120. And I was planning for the next Custom Line Confidential to showcase the Custom Line 120. Now it's looking unlikely that I'll be able to go to Custom Line to film that this month. So I'll be talking to them about maybe reviewing that particular model from my home office, much like this video is now, so that we don't lose the continuity um, of that series of videos. What I was especially frustrated about was I was also discussing with them doing a complete walkthrough video of the Custom Line Navetta 37. They have one in the shipyard, finished, ready to go, and they wanted me to film it. I was literally three days away from filming that yacht when uh, Italy went into lockdown, it became completely impossible to do. The yacht, I'm sure, is still there. So I'm hoping that as soon as the lockdown is lifted, I'll be able to arrange that walkthrough video with them and I'll be able to present it to you, which obviously um, I would hope you'd be looking forward to too. Custom Line Confidential was just one of the um, various uh, series of videos that I was starting to produce. Um, the other one, which I'd already done, was the wider report. Wider is a hugely popular yacht builder, especially with this YouTube channel. Um, some of the biggest views I've ever had are on the videos I've produced about Wider. So the Wider report was another bi-monthly video report from the shipyard back to you. I'd already filmed the first one. Uh, it was all about the, the Wider 135, which is their smaller uh, model. The following one was due to be about the wider 180. And in between the time that I'd filmed the 135 and I was preparing for the next video, wider made an announcement about a really revolutionary technology that they're looking to use on the wider 180 to make it more feasible to have a totally electric yacht. Now, I was looking forward to researching that, to finding out more about it. And that video was due to be released last week won't escape you that actually I wasn't able to film that because I couldn't go down to the shipyard. So I'll be talking to Wider as well about doing the latest video about the Wider 180, once again from my home office in isolation, but nonetheless with some really valuable information. And from the little bit of research I've done, the technology they've come up with is really a game changer and, and should be very fascinating. So hopefully within the next two weeks, um, I should be able to produce something 
for you on that particular yacht. I am especially excited about the possibility of visiting yacht builders and reporting back to you uh, on what's going on. And so far, the feedback from yacht builders is that they too are very excited um, about this possibility. In fact, I've been talking to Benetti, who is the other huge name in yacht building, uh, not just in Italy, but throughout the world. And we were about to start a series with them as well. We haven't got a name for it just yet. We're discussing different names for what the series will be. Um, but I will be going there as soon as lockdown is over to start a series telling you all the news from Benetti, their launches, their new products. And Benetti have also asked me to do two videos of two uh, of their new models that they're presenting. Um, we're in discussions as to whether I'll do that from my home or whether we'll wait for lockdown to be lifted. But that's something really to look forward to. Uh, and I'm looking forward to giving you a lot more information about Benetti and, uh, and their projects. Benetti is part of a group which is Benetti Azimut. And actually, I've got really quite um, a good relationship now with the marketing director of Azimut, who also kind of um, overlaps into some work with Benetti too. I'm not sure yet um, how much I'll be able to do with Azimut in terms of regular reports go, but it's promising that I'll have exclusive access to information from Azimut once again as soon as the lockdown's over and be able to give you a lot more information about them. In fact, you'll have noticed that my last vlog was about the Azimut Grande S10, which is a wonderful yacht. The next one should be about the Azimut Grande Trideck. I have to admit, I didn't even know they had a Trideck until I started to research more about them. And now I've seen it, it's a wonderful yacht. So that's a vlog to look out for with some enthusiasm. Before I move on to talk about other projects which are ongoing at the moment, I should tell you I'm especially enthusiastic about the idea of um, reporting from shipyards. And in amongst the many, many viewers from all over the world, I do know that there are people who work for yacht builders who watch this channel. So if you like the idea of me visiting your shipyard on a regular basis and reporting back to my YouTube audience, which of course includes yacht brokers, yacht owners, yacht captains, and many other people who are just passionate about yachts, do let me know. I'd love to do that for you. Due to the custom line connection, uh, video. I was able to also rekindle my relationship with all of Ferretti Group and they'd actually invited me to be involved with their next dealer meeting which of course had been postponed due to the coronavirus but I'm hopeful that they will give me access to a lot of their brands to be able to uh, report back to you on more news from their various brands too. That's something to look out for in 2020 absolutely nothing concrete on that yet but I just want to tell you that I'm very enthusiastic about the possibility. The other series of videos which I was really enjoying doing, <clears throat> excuse me, that's not coronavirus that's just me clearing my throat. I've been really enjoying um, following the construction of various yachts. You'll be well aware that I was following the construction of Ragnar at the Icon uh, shipyard. What an incredible yacht that is. It's 68 meter super yacht built with a, an incredible styling produced by RWD and built by Icon. It's actually um, a, a client who's taken what they call a donor vessel of um, a commercial ship and he's converted it for use as a luxury yacht. It has a helicopter hangar in it, a ski room. It's an incredible project. Now I would very much like to have um, gone back there to do a full walkthrough video of the yacht. But if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you'll be well aware that with larger yachts, there's often confidentiality issues. It's not always that easy to get on board and to film. I'm in discussions with Icon about that at the moment, but in the meantime, I hope you're enjoying uh, this footage that I'm showing you of the launch of the yacht and what it's actually starting to look like now that certainly the exterior of the yacht is totally finished. And I think they're very, very close to delivery now. I kind of actually invited me back to the yard once lockdown is over. So although I don't know for sure what future videos there will be with them, I'm hopeful that we'll be able to do other projects as well. The other great documentary video that I just started and was really enjoying was for Silent Yachts. Now Silent Lock Yachts, as you probably know, are a company that produce catamarans that extensively use solar panels and battery power um, I interviewed the owner of Silent Yachts, Michael Kohler, at the Camboat Show, and that 
particular video was extremely well received, as was the first of the documentary videos following the Silent 80, which is being built actually in Italy. Now, I was due to film the next uh, of that series of videos a few weeks ago. Of course, I was not able to do that. But Michael Kohler told me that they've actually been able to transfer the hull of the first Silent 80 from the production facility that was just making the hull and the superstructure down to the production facility uh, where they'll be fitting it out. We would have loved to have videoed that, but of course with restrictions, I was amazed that they were able, able, even able to do the transport. Uh, certainly we were not able to video it, although I hope you're enjoying the footage that I'm showing you of that right now. The other great documentary video, which I was absolutely adoring every second of filming, was for Hans Steiger. Hans Steiger is a totally different company because it's a brand new brand uh, owned by a man called John Ordovas, who basically, when he couldn't find the yacht that would be his ideal yacht for his family, he decided to design one himself, build it himself, and at a certain point he realised that he could commercialise this yacht and offer it to the public. It's a really unusual 64-foot trimaran. Um, now, I spoke to John Ordovas quite recently, or I should say more accurately, we exchanged WhatsApp messages. He said that the progress on the yacht is doing very, very well. Um, they really pushed it to the limit um, until the lockdown was announced in Spain, which is where that yacht's being built. And of course, then they had to stop production of the yacht. But he's hopeful that I'll be able to go back there in May and show you the progress that they've made. And a really heartwarming story from Hans Steiger is that during the lockdown period, they've used their facilities to produce protective masks for the healthcare workers in Spain. And when I had this exchange of WhatsApp messages with John, he was telling me that the, um, the Spanish military were actually going to the shipyard the following day to take the first batch of those protective masks. So it's a wonderful thing to know um, that the yachting industry is doing their best to assist healthcare workers in what's a very, very different, difficult time. I know that Benetti and Ferretti Group have also made significant contributions and shown a real care uh, for the health workers who, let's face it, are coming out of this crisis are the absolute heroes of, of what's going on right now and, of course, really need our support. On to the next thing I want to tell you about. While I've been uh, in my home office, the other people involved in the yachting industry on YouTube have been very active too. And there's just a couple of videos that have come out which I thought were fantastic and I want to tell you about. Uh, because if you also are on lockdown right now in your home, I hope you have some more time to watch YouTube. And, and some of this material is just fantastic. The first one um, is from a YouTuber called E. Sisman. Now, E. Sisman has a channel um, which talks about large yachts in general, and he has a very unique perspective due to his experience of working on some very, very large yachts. Anyway, he's produced a video called Do Super Yacht Owners Ever Bring a Mistress on Board? And the title of that video, and especially the thumbnail of the video, I must admit made me raise an eyebrow. But I did watch it to see what it was all about, and it was actually nothing like I thought it would be about. That question about do super yacht owners bring a mistress on board is just one of many questions that E. Sisman answers in that video. It's an incredibly engaging video. And um, actually, I'm going to put a link to it at the very end of this vlog so that if you want to, you can finish watching the vlog and go straight on to E. Sisman's video. Uh, super Yacht Captain as well. Um, I love some of the stuff that he's producing. He recently asked me to produce a video uh, telling my story about how I became a yacht broker. <clears throat> I loved doing that and it's had a lot of success on his channel, thankfully. I would have been upset if nobody watched that. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description below, but that's not the video I'm telling you about on this occasion. I particularly want you to watch his recent video in which um, he gets Jared Watney to recount a story of being attacked or chased by pirates. It's a fantastic story. If you don't know Jared, you really do need to take a, uh, take a look and check out his channel and subscribe to it. He's a young um, crew member who's worked on a few different yachts and he's just got, he's got wonderful storytelling ability, wonderful videography ability. He, he is YouTube 
gold and you really should check out his channel especially if you've got free time due to the lockdown so i'm going to put a link to that video as well in the description below it's jared watney on the super yacht captain channel talking about getting chased by pirates great story now the other thing that i really wanted to to talk to you about was from a vlog that i produced a couple of weeks ago in which i put the question to you as to whether you thought it was a good idea for me to have a patreon account now, my idea of the Patreon account was that it would be for people who want to know how to become a yacht broker, because I get asked that question all the time. Uh, and in the past, I've had a webinar, but the webinar didn't seem to be the best way to hand that information over. And I, within myself, I didn't feel completely comfortable about Patreon as, as a, a tool for this particular YouTube channel. And in fact, Although some of the comments on that particular video were favorable towards Patreon, many of them were unfavorable as well, which kind of reinforced my idea. So this is what I've decided to do. Rather than to have a breaking into brokerage series just for Patreon account members, um, I'm gonna publish it in a live streaming uh, series on my YouTube channel for anybody to be able to listen to. So I'm announcing here a new series breaking into brokerage specifically for people who want to be your brokers and it will be live streamed Friday evenings, every Friday evening, as long as my travel um, schedule allows me to do that. Not that I have much of a travel schedule right now, I can tell you, but it will be every Friday evening. Now, live streaming allows people to pay by super chat. That means if you're really seriously interested in being a yacht broker, if you have particular questions that you want to ask me, you can do that, you can leave a super chat. It's not to say that I'm only gonna answer the questions of people who do pay by super chat. I hope that there'll be time to also answer other people's questions, but it seems a good way to be able to impart that information to you in a structured manner. Every Friday, we'll talk about a different topic, a different aspect of being a yacht broker. Those of you who are particularly keen and motivated to have your questions answered, can avail yourselves of Super Chat. I'll be very grateful for that and it'll show some commitments on your part. But for those who are just a little bit curious and don't want to pay anything, at least the information is there for them too. One final thing before I go, and it's an appeal really to the many people who at this time uh, may be thinking of selling their yachts. Remember that this YouTube channel was really started as a marketing tool for people who want to sell their yachts. That's not changed, that will never change. Anybody who gives me a central agency for the yacht to sell will always have free of charge one of my walkthrough videos. And as you know, if you've watched those videos, they're pretty high production. You know, I usually get either a helicopter or at the very least a professional drone driver, drone driver, drone pilot. And we produce some really awesome videos. Um, the video I produced of Neoprene, which is a 108 um, Mangusta has been seen over two and a half million times. We've had offers on the yacht. It's actually in negotiation with somebody at the moment, on hold, of course, due to the uh, virus epidemic. It is without a doubt the best, the most powerful way to market your yacht. I wanted to put that reminder in for those of you watching these videos who are either yacht captains or yacht owners or come on, uh, come on, that's an Italian word, or in any case, uh, yachting professionals. That is the purpose of this channel. That is what this channel will always be about. Uh, and now it's time for you to take a look at E. Sisman's wonderful video entitled, Do Super Yacht Owners Ever Bring a Mistress on Board? <laughs>